Hello everyone and welcome back to KXCN Live. I'm your anchor Esmeralda Zamora and today we have our simple health segment of the week with our Jose Torres. Mm -hmm. Jose, thanks so much for joining us. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. The weather's great. How are you doing? I'm doing great too. I'm so excited we finally have that cold weather like you just mentioned. It feels great, right? It makes you yeah. feel happy when you go outside. Yeah. <laughs> you have no excuse to stay indoors. No, especially when it comes to exercising. Exercising outside in this weather, I mm -hmm. bet is awesome right oh yeah it feels great i went on a run yesterday and today and it just felt great i ran just a little faster so yeah perfect for that and that's a perfect segue into mm -hmm. what we're talking to talking about today jose tell us a little bit about what you reported on this week so today we are talking to the co-founders of the app called sweat pals and the app offers a variety of uh, fitness community events like the ones you see there <laughs> um and the, uh, that specific event you can find on their app, it's uh, called Sweat Pals, and it offers a variety of uh, events like uh, swimming, uh, running clubs, a variety of running clubs, uh, an event like this that offers yoga, sauna, and ice baths all in one, one place. Um, and so I met the co-founders, uh, <laughs> Salara Shagani and Mandy Joe, at, at this event, and the idea came to them after they faced their own challenges of after immigrating to to the U.S., mm -hmm. they had uh, some challenges of adapting to a new culture, uh, a, a new lifestyle, and new language, a new language for them, and uh, they came up with sweat baths. And we're gonna play a little bit of that story for you. I came to the U.S. in 2012, and being from a different country, different culture, different language, different sense of humor, then I could have a really difficulty connecting with people. I moved to the U.S. by myself when I was 14 years old. I was originally from China and when I moved here I didn't even speak English at all. But through fitness it was all of a sudden very easy because in the field no one cares what language you speak, you have an accent, you don't have an accent, what religion, you, no one cares. And it's very inclusive so that was how I always was able to meet people. Today we are at one of the communities that are on Sweat Pals called Jacobi Cold Plunge. So they get together, they do yoga, then they go do the cold plunge, they get coffee, they do sauna, they hang out. I haven't tried cold plunge. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm supposed to, but I'm really scared of cold water. Guys, rubber ducky says it's 53.1 in the water. Well, I was never, never athletic as a child, but I signed up for lacrosse, I did volleyball, I did tennis, I did track, um, just so that I could like sweat it out, but then I ended up turning out and it was, I found my lifelong friends through those sports team. We have Gen Z and millennials are literally the loneliest generation in the world, and this is a great way for them to meet. Jose, that was that was really <laughs> funny. The, she hasn't done the ice bath yet, but she yeah. created an app where everyone gets together to do an ice bath. Yeah. Tell me, how does this app work? Uh, so think of it uh, almost like the Spotify app, something similar where you know you pick the event events that you're interested. In. Say you pick uh, you know soccer, mm -hmm. and then you pick uh, volleyball, and then you pick running. So the next time you open the app, uh, it'll offer you some suggestions of. You know, hey, think about this event that's coming up in about a week or two days from now. Uh, so it works something like that. And what's next for them to the creators of the app? So right now, the app you can um, the app is in sixteen cities, including Miami. And uh, next year, uh, the founders hope to launch it worldwide. So they're going to go international by this time next year. So wow. that's pretty awesome. That is awesome. And the co-founder said she didn't try the ice baths, <laughs> but I wanted to ask you, have you tried the ice baths? <laughs> yeah, I actually love the ice baths. Uh, they're so, so when we did this story, it was actually in the summer. So ice baths in the summer are perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe uh, not right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you'll be surprised. Like, the amount of people that you see there, uh, you'll, you'll see them probably around our quote unquote Texas winter time. <laughs> uh, so it could be like 50 degrees, 40 degrees. And uh, yeah, I've done those around that temperature. 
And um, some of these uh, ice, um, ice tubs are controlled. So, you know, some could be like 50 degrees mm -hmm. uh, or they could go as low as 30 degrees. You can manipulate the temperature. Yeah. yeah. And there's so many benefits to it. Uh, there's the athletic uh, benefit. If you're a runner, it's great for recovery. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, for mental health, you get a, an amazing mental boost after trying one of these ice baths. Same with the sauna, if, especially if you go back and forth, like sauna for like five, 10 minutes, uh, then go to the ice bath for like maybe three minutes, five minutes, and you keep doing those back and forth. Uh, when you're done, oh, you get a big old mental boost. I used to do that uh, before I would come into work and I would just come what? in. What? <laughs> I would just come in very relaxed. Wow, I and, need to try uh, that. Yeah, it makes the, makes the day go by super fast. And the person who actually hosted this event that this particular event, mm -hmm. his name is Jacoby King, and uh, he's the one that also uh, brought in his uh, uh, portable ice tubs, and so that's his company, uh, Jacoby Plunges, mm -hmm. and I have a link to uh, to him, uh, to his story, uh, on our web story, <laughs> <laughs> at kxan.com. He's from Iran, and in 2012, he moved to Boston to go to college, mm -hmm. and uh, he, he started a business in Boston. It was a um, type of a tech-type business. Uh, he sold that company. Uh, he moved to Austin, and um, right around, I believe, uh, during the pandemic. And, you know, that was a time where there was a lot of isolation because, you know, you, you had to... Um, um, you know, you didn't want to get <laughs> you didn't want to get sick, right? Yeah, you didn't <laughs> want to get uh, COVID. Um, and then Mandy, Mandy came uh, to the U.S. Uh, at the age of fourteen, and that was fifteen years ago. Uh, she came from China um, uh, by herself. You can say uh, she came in with some family friends uh, to the U.S. and uh, together they um, together Mandy and Salar found each other, and yeah, they created this awesome company because they know how hard it is to, I mean, moving to a new city alone and not knowing any, um, not knowing anyone is hard in itself, right? Yeah. And then you add these language barriers and different cultures that you're not used to. And so they, they faced all of that and uh, they wanted to provide a simple way for you and me and anybody else who is looking to make friends or who is uh, looking to find a community, a group of friends, uh, and stay active at the same time. You can find it on their on their app, which, by the way, their app uh, Sweat Pals is free. You can find it where you get your where, where, uh, at your app store. Um, and in the um, in the app, you'll find uh, you can plan out your events. Uh, they they have a calendar uh, for today, tomorrow, uh, for the rest of the week, for the rest of the month, and uh, some of those events are free and then some of those events you do have to pay but it'll give you all the information the time if there is a fee but um yeah i have a link to that as well on our website and if i'm not mistaken i heard mandy say in your story that she came to the u.s and didn't know any english mm -hmm. and then these two individuals the co-founders are from two different sides of the world it's just amazing to see how they broke through those barriers themselves and now are helping everyone else here in Austin as we continue growing as a city and having more and more individuals from different parts of the world join us here in this awesome city. Yeah, and uh, fitness played a big role because uh, Mandy, uh, she joined uh, uh, volleyball, she joined, I believe, <laughs> tennis, all these different sports so she could make new friends. And she did. And they're now, uh, she tells me that they're now lifelong friends. Uh, Salar, uh, he got into running and uh, he was able to met, meet uh, several people mm -hmm. and make lifelong friends as well. And uh, like you said in the story, you know, when you're out in the field, you know, it doesn't matter, um, you know, what your background is and your upbringing. You're there as a team working together and you find ways to communicate. Yeah, and for anyone who is interested in either downloading that app or reading more about their stories, Jose went ahead and wrote this article on our website. It's under the Simple Health tab from the homepage. You can reach it there. And it has all of the information, even some photos from the events 
there's that ice bath that I don't <laughs> want to try. <laughs> and then I'm sure you have links to all the people that were in the video mm -hmm. as well as the app and the cold plunge and all that good stuff. Esme, when <laughs> we come back to the summer in a few months <laughs> uh, and it gets like 110 degrees. I'm going to want to jump in that ice yeah. bath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you well, <laughs> thank you so much, Jose, for sharing this story. This was a great story. Again, if anyone is interested in looking at that, you can go to our website under the Simple Health tab and you can find it there. Thanks so much.